All right, I'm gonna call this one my barn update. Now this front window, and if y'all gonna turn this into a house, this is something you really need to tell them. They need to bring that window up about 40 inches so when you put a countertop in there and cabinets, it's not too low. So I'm gonna have to cut out up top and raise it and do some reframing and while I got the windows out and on the other side I'm going to go ahead and replace them these aren't insulated but uh, if you're going to make a, a kitchen out of that area then go ahead and get that window put up and that's something I know they could do now all right the inside's a mess we've got to get our shed twisted around and jacked up and then I can get most of this stuff out of here but over here where I've got my tools is going to be the bathroom up top we added two more uh Joyce's I guess you could call them which got me 32 inches to bring it out I did the same thing above the kitchen because I wanted it to be big enough to have counter and a refrigerator and I used two by eights where I put my uh, breaker box at because you can't do it on the uh, outside walls there's not enough space so uh, I wanted to divide the kitchen up a little bit from the living room and that's where the refrigerator is going to sit so it worked out good I didn't mind and then up top that wall sets back I have a lot of collectibles and things like that and I'm going to put some outlets up there and run me some uh, LED lights and put all my old stuff up there to be out of the way and I'll have a switch so if there's anything that likes to light up I'll go ahead and light it up this side's going to be the same thing it's just a little bit uh, shorter wall because the kitchen ceiling is higher but I did frame me in an access because we got both the front and the back full of our stuff and uh, I'll have to say about tiny house shows and stuff, don't get rid of your stuff. Don't get rid of your dogs. Rent you a uh, shed. Or go to a storage. Get your storage unit. Because I've got furniture. My dad died two months before the hurricane. And behind all the clothes, there's a really nice electric reclining uh, love seat. i got a brand new king-size bed and a headboard and a footboard. I've got my generator. i got a lot of stuff from them. And uh, I wasn't really going to throw it away. So if you build a tiny house, you're going to stay in your town, uh, put it in a storage building or something until you get a shed. Because you got to have a shed with a tiny house. There just ain't no damn room inside a tiny house to put stuff. And mine, I used up a lot of space because I used a 32-inch uh, shower and a full-size washer and dryer. So I don't have a lot of storage space. Uh, when they get done, we're going to take the washer and put it in there. It's gas, propane. Then we're going to take it out of the tiny house. I'm going to put shelves where it, it used to sit and then put bifold doors on it. So it'll be a lot of storage. So the barn's come along good. I just got to get the shed jacked up where I can get everything out. I just got to finish a little bit of wiring. I did get it inspected. I went in an uh, inspection on record. So when I go to get fire insurance, they aren't going to grief me on it. So it's working out good. Nice electrical inspector. He came and looked at it the first time and I'm... Let me go around and show you. Inspector did. He came and uh, did my rough in, which went real well. Then I got all my stuff and called for my final the next day. Well, he told me, and he apologized, that I have to have a disconnect on here because it's further than 30 feet from my power pole. And I don't know if you've ever bought a 100 amp disconnect. Them some bitches are expensive as hell. But uh, he came out and looked at it, and he didn't do the final inside. He had already seen the work I'd done, a new... Uh, I wasn't uh, being half ass about it, so real good inspector. Usually those guys are a bunch of assholes, but this guy was really good. So this is update on the barn, and as always, y'all have a good one.